And right now, we've got a government so big and so expensive. You listen to this theme. Big government. Let's call it. Big government economic policies. Or maybe rant is the word. Big government government agenda. agenda. Government. Government. And how does this not feel as though we are stuck in a time machine? Because didn't we hold this debate already? Didn't Reagan say 30 years ago? Government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. And 15 years ago, didn't Clinton basically concede? The era of big government is over. Didn't Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson come out of the very founding itself, drawing America's first partisan battle lines? Because Hamilton had big plans for a strong central government, leadership by an elite, a stretchable constitution. While Jefferson, he wanted to keep power local and limited and exactly as spelled out in the constitution, no less and especially no more. Well, guess what? Hamilton dies in a duel, Jefferson becomes president, and then he starts enlarging things like America itself, buying land rights from France, like the national debt, which got bigger as a result. And the size of the government? Well, they had to keep adding chairs to the president's cabinet. From five in Jefferson's time, the number grew to seven by 1853, ten by 1903. Then comes the New Deal. The only thing we have to fear is... A broken economy, it was government to the rescue, Social Security born, the financial industry slapped with new rules, and the view that it was a good thing to spend to save the system. It touched that thing inside us that says when something's not right, in that Hollywood way that captures it in a line. Should be a law against it. Mae West in My Little Chickadee. Well, laws we've got, plenty of them, and rules, and regulations, and restrictions, and limits, and codes, and requirements, and agencies, and boards, and commissions, and departments that warn, and watch, and police, and enforce, and inspect, and approve, or disapprove. Who wants all this? Well, if you needed it, if you needed the federal government to force open the schoolhouse door, if you needed those checks the government handed out after the Gulf oil spill, if you hated the fact that airlines could keep you on the runways for hours until the government told them they couldn't, if you need the parking space that federal law mandates in front of stores, then, well, it's you who wanted it. Or maybe not. Not when this agency gets into it, because there is a price to be paid for all of this, and maybe we can't really pay it.